Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to uh, this Saturday edition of new distributor training for uh, ZJ International. My name's Fred Holmes. I'm an independent distributor with ZJ and uh, wearing the t-shirt to prove it today. And um, uh, it's my privilege to be the uh, trainer this morning, actually the co-trainer. Very excited about tomorrow, tonight's or tomorrow, today's training. Uh, I'm going to have a special guest joining me here in a little bit. Uh, uh, we've got um, Christine Holland. She's a platinum executive with the company. And, uh, and I asked her to join us this morning uh, to share a little bit about what she does in her focus uh, utilizing the, the enhancements to our, our plan for um, the ability to get free product, to get an extra $3,000 a year in commissions for simply doing what we do, our Premier 20 Elite 40 program. Uh, because she has been consistently at the top of the team leaderboard, um, you know, every week. I mean, every period. So uh, she's going to be on. Um, I encourage you, if, if this is, uh, today is of all the Saturday morning new distributor trainings that you need to have your journal handy to be taking notes, today's the day to do it. Uh, so uh, first, welcome to all of you. Uh, especially welcome to those of you that are brand new distributors. Uh, that's really who this presentation is for on Saturday mornings. Um, we don't do the same thing every Saturday morning. We, uh, uh, we focus on different topics, different subjects, so that every morning uh, that you join us or for those of you on the replay, you've got something new to be adding to your, you know, your quiver of arrows to, to build your Zija business. Uh, I'm going to make a couple of quick notes here, and then I'm going to get going. Uh, I do encourage you, those of you that are, are relatively new to network marketing, or maybe you're new to Zija, or maybe you've been around for a while and you're starting to sense, you know, what's happening with the company, the, the, the impending uh, explosion of volume that we're going to see over the next couple of years. Um, and we've been leading up to this for the last 90 days. It's been incredible what's been happening. Um, I encourage you to get, you know, well grounded in the fundamentals of what we do. And so in the chat box, uh, I'm going to put in a website address uh, for you. You can, you know, cut and paste it or check it out. Um, uh, we've set up a YouTube channel, uh, www.youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes Zija. Okay, so just my name. And uh, uh, what, what you'll find there is uh, the archive of all of our Saturday morning trainings that we do, myself and other leaders uh, do this broadcast on Saturday mornings, um, our business presentations called Biz Talks on Thursday evenings, uh, myself and other leaders, uh, you know, host those presentations. Uh, but I want to draw your attention in particular to the playlist on that YouTube channel. Uh, when you click on the playlist tab, you're going to see four little videos. Um, they're called uh, New Distributor Training and Fast Start Training. And, and I really encourage you, and even for those of you that have maybe have already you know, watched those, watch them again. It's always important to stay well grounded in the fundamentals of, uh, of, of our business. And you'll find a lot of information there. Uh, I encourage you to review those uh, simply because it's going to help you. Okay, one of the things, and, and it's kind of like, you know, if you will, one of my little superpowers is uh, very early on in the industry, uh, you know, this goes back 35, I guess we're almost 35 years now, we're coming up my 35th anniversary of starting uh, my first, my first home-based business, multi-level business. Uh, I had the, the good fortune uh, to learn some of the most you know, important information that's ever existed in our profession came from that first company. And I compiled in that first video on the playlist called New Distributor Training, uh, everything that I've learned, the simple system for success in our business. Now, I encourage you to spend 30 minutes on that video. Okay, that's, that's how long it is. It's 30 minutes long, almost exactly. Uh, you will learn the basics of what we do, and it's everything you need to know, okay? What do we do, how do we do it, okay? That's pretty much all, all that you need to know is what do we do and how do we do it. And, and the reason I say, uh, I encourage you to review that on an ongoing basis, one of my little superpowers is the ability to do the same thing 
over and over and over and over again. There is no magic to what we do. Uh, our business model has some, some very fundamental activities uh, and concepts that, that create longevity, create, can create significant income. I mean, assuming you have, you know, right company, right products, right timing. And, uh, and I encourage you to do that because that's, that's what I do, okay? And, and I actually review my own training from time to time just to keep me grounded, to keep me from moving a little bit too far left or right of center to stay down the, uh, you know, the easy path. You'll see three more little videos there uh, on that playlist. Uh, they're, they're about 10 minutes a piece and, and uh, you know, how to create a prospect list like professionals, how to create your Zija story, uh, the concept of a 90 day game plan. Uh, those three little videos, uh, another 30 minutes, if you will, uh, combined, uh, I would call that the fast start training. Now, if you do that and take the time, what, 60 minutes to review those, um, you will have everything you need to know to be successful in our business simply because that's all I know, okay? And that's all I've done uh, you know, over the years that I've been part of this profession of network marketing. Uh, we're going to talk about, uh, uh, I'm going to, my portion this morning, I'm going to share a little bit with you. Uh, for those of you that were on the, uh, the you know, got my uh, 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 team email, uh, uh, went out this morning. Uh, it was supposed to go out last night, but the, the computer, the computer, uh, uh, you know, fairies were, were just not in alignment or something last night and it got too late and I just decided that's it and we're not going to do this. So got out this morning. Um, posted on uh, on uh, Facebook. If you saw the that post or that email, what you saw me talk about was the three, uh, you know, most important steps to getting a new distributor going, to launching your Zija business. And I want to talk about those three things. And then in a bit here, I'm going to bring uh, um, uh, Christine over and have her talk a little bit about what she does to maintain her status, you know, right at the top of our leaderboard for uh, Premier 20 and Elite 40. So uh, let's get started with the three things for new distributors. And I want you to look at this in, in a couple of different perspectives, okay? If you're an established distributor and you're onboarding a brand new team member, somebody's joined the business, maybe they've been one of your customers for a while, and they said, you know, this is so great. I've got friends asking me how to get a hold of this product. I'd like to get involved in the business. Uh, you might be, uh, you know, you might have onboard, be onboarding somebody that's looking for a career change. Somebody like me, you know, back in the mid 80s, I was a cross country truck driver looking for a way to create, you know, substantial levels of income so I could, you know, provide for my son uh, and time freedom. Maybe you're looking for somebody that's looking to build a retirement program, save money for house, what, whatever it is that you're uh, perspective or new distributors doing, look at these three things as part of your to-do list to help your new person get off to a fast start and a good start in their business. If you're a brand new distributor, you want to look at this information as something that you should do. And last person, last item, let's say you've been around for a while. Uh, you've, uh, you know, people always are, are concerned, well, you know, you only get one chance to have your, you know, your fast start story. Well, you can get uh, do-overs, right? Uh, I think in golfing, they call it a mulligan or something like that. I'm, I'm not a golfer, so I don't know. Uh, but um, uh, th this is an opportunity. You could have been around for a while. Maybe you, you've made some money. You've got a couple distributors going. You've got some customers. But it's not the story that you want. Okay, here's what you can do. I've been involved with Zija for a while and, you know, getting some success, enjoying the products, making some money. But let me tell you what has happened in my business in the last 30 days since December 14th when I attended a new distributor training. Okay, you can evaporate everything that's happened in your Zija business and start over with that simple little phrasing. And so, here, here is my uh, perspective on the three most important steps a brand new distributor would take as they are launching their Zija business. Number one, and I can't, I can't overemphasize how important this is. Folks, start with the end in mind. Number one, start with the end in mind. 
Don't be that person that starts in this great endeavor, this great venture with Zija, saying something like, you know, uh, well, you know, I'll get involved. I'll, you know, dabble on it a little bit, just kind of check it out, see how it goes. And if it goes really good, then I'm going to hit it hard. Folks, that is silly. There is no single highly successful person in any kind of field that started out to see if it would work, okay? One of the characteristics of highly successful people is they take a short period of time to make a decision, they analyze, then they make a decision and they commit and they go full force, okay? That's just the way it is. It's why so many people really never, you know, get off the ground, really, you know, how many people do you know want to invest in real estate, invest in the stock market, you know, create residual income, whatever, but they never pull the trigger, okay? Uh, and, and, you know, I remember when I bought my first uh, uh, um, income property, my first rental property, you know, I looked at the numbers, I said, this makes sense, and I pulled the trigger. I got out my checkbook and I wrote the check. Okay, now don't get me wrong, I wasn't like comfortable with it. I was a little scared. Okay, but I also understood this 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 philosophy that if you are going to do something, go do it. Start with the end in mind. Now that being said, that particular property, that very first property, is the worst performing property that I own. Okay. However, had I not pulled the trigger on the first one, I wouldn't have gotten the other twelve. And 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 the Z, and the Z this part of the Zija story, my Zija income has created the ability for me to acquire uh, well now thirteen uh, 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 rental properties, paid for in cash. Okay, that's a powerful way to create a, you know a, a residual income. Uh, now, was it a mistake to buy the first one? Some people say yes because it is to date, the worst performing property I've ever purchased. Was it a mistake to purchase that property? I'm gonna say no, it was the best thing I ever did. Because if I hadn't pulled the trigger on that one, I probably would never have pulled the trigger on number two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, you see where I'm going with this? When you start your Zeech of business, folks, decide what you want, okay? Do you want supplemental income? Would you like that extra two or three hundred dollars a week, that extra thousand dollars a month, 10, 15,000 hours a year. That level of income, that's the backbone of our distributor base, by the way. Imagine how many people's lives we could change if we could help the average family in America increase their income by an extra 10 or 15,000 hours a year without it having to change their lifestyle. Okay, imagine the good we could do. If that's what you want, then make that decision commit to that, don't try it, do it, and do it until you've got that level of residual income. If you want a replacement level of income, maybe you're trying, you know, you need to replace, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60,000 hours a year, whatever your job's paying, then start with that. Do that, make that commitment, focus on the activities that'll allow you to achieve that in a reasonable amount of time, and don't quit until you do. Whatever it is, that your goals are, commit to the long term, all right? Start with the end in mind. Don't be that, per, you know, my favorite example of this is, is the young couple, they have their first baby, it's all cute and giggly and, you know, and, and um, you know, being a little babyish and they go, oh, this is so cute, we like this, you know, we're gonna keep it for a while and if it does well, we'll, we'll keep it for uh, forever. You don't do that with a baby. You commit to the long term when you have a baby, right? So do the same thing with your business. It's too important not to do it. Number two, plug in. Now, when I say plug in, I mean get engaged in all the resources, support, and connections that you can um, uh, uh, to assist you in building your Zija business. Here's some examples of plugging in. Uh, be part of the Zija Champions page. So you can get, you know, updated virtually on a daily basis of the new things that are coming down the pike. It kills me when I hear people say, oh, I didn't know that we had, you know, 50% uh, off sale on our, um, on our holiday catalog and it ended yesterday. 
Why didn't you know that? Anybody who's plugged in knew that from a wide range of resources, including the Z2 Champions. Uh, I do a lot of things uh, for, for my team, okay? So for instance, you'd wanna plug in, uh, you know, maybe you wanna plug into me, all right? That would include uh, being part of my team email list. So you can get periodic emails, uh, announcements of, you know, upcoming events. All right, uh, you know, whether it be travel schedules, uh, Thursday night biz talks, Saturday morning uh, new distributor trainings. Uh, plug into, you know, my YouTube channel. You know, go to, you know, youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes Zija and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications. That way, when a new video is posted, you know it's posted. You'll get a, uh, you know, ding, Fred Holmes has posted a new video. Um, you know, uh, you know, friend me in, uh, on Facebook, like my uh, business page on, like, on Facebook. These are just a few of the things that I do for, and I'm, it's not just for my organizations, for anybody in Zija who wants to plug into that. Uh, Pat Anderson, Pat Anderson has a lot of resources, you know, plug into Pat Anderson's team website, clubmoringa.com. That's a huge, huge, uh, you know, repository of resources to help you support your business. Uh, one of the things that I'm really excited about is, uh, in particular, uh, what's happened here in the last couple of years, how many of the, of the Zija leaderships, regardless of their direct line of sponsorships, have come together to work as a group? Um, many of you that are part of this broadcast, or you know, maybe you're uh, you're watching the broadcast on the replay, uh, you know, the recording, uh, aren't necessarily part of my personal organization. You have a different line of upline sponsorship. You know, check with the people that are part of your of your upline diamond leadership. Many of them have a lot of resources that are available to you, and and I will tell you, you know, I tell my team members. Plug into anybody that can offer you some support. That's one level of, of plugging in or one you know, aspect of plugging in is be plugged into the ongoing information flow. Uh, be plugged into your team leaders, okay? Find out, you know, and, and this is really important because in today, the speed at which we're growing right now, um, the, I mean, we've literally got distributors being sponsored you know, a new distributor being sponsored today by somebody that was sponsored two days ago or a week ago, and they were sponsored by somebody that was only three days in the business longer than them. And we've got, you know, multiple generations of, you know, babies having babies, if you will. You can figure out who your upline leadership is through your back office. Okay, there's an area in there will show you every single person that's part of your upline support team. Keep going upline. Now, and, and, and here, um, uh, this isn't a negative, this is just a reality. Not every person that joins Zija is sponsored by somebody who shares their level of focus, their, their level of goals, aspirations, and what have you. You know, if you're somebody that joins Zija to create a full-time income or, you know, a, a high-level income, or, you know, in my case, a life changing level of income and you were sponsored by somebody who's in the category of, of looking to create some supplemental income, you know, or, or a part-time home based income, their level of, um, of focus may not be uh, able to provide you the level of leadership that you desire. Move on up line. Okay especially in today's Zija, we're such a young company, we're at the forefront of massive growth. You're gonna find people that are, I mean, literally legends in network marketing, multi-million dollar earners who are in the trenches working every single day with brand new people and they'll work with you too, okay? You got to, to, to you know, this is, call it, in, you know, enlightened self-interest. You need to move upline, get plugged into your upline leadership. Uh, the more people that you can reach out to, to, to help you create your story, the faster your business is going to grow. Now, third item I want to talk about is creating your story. And, and I'm going to defer a little bit. I'm just going to make a couple of short comments because I want to make sure we have adequate time for uh, uh, Christine to, to share her information. The most important thing that you can do 
when you launch your business or relaunch your business is to develop a compelling story. Okay, Jim Rohn uh, says, as a matter of fact, it's, one, it's like the tagline on, on, uh, on some of my email headers. <coughs> Jim Rohn says, most important thing is to have a good story to tell. Second thing is to learn how to tell the story well. And then the third thing, and this is at the heart of my success in network marketing, be willing to share the story often enough. And if you do, it will eventually fall on the right ears. Okay, have a good story to tell, learn how to tell it well, tell it often enough, it'll eventually fall on good ears. Now, when I joined Zija, the day I joined Zija, and it took a while to make that decision, took a while to make sure it was the right company. I had figured out my investigation was the wrong timing, uh, but everything else, you know, the product, uh, the pedigree of the corporate leadership, that was compelling enough to, to, to make up for the fact the timing was very bad. Um, the, 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 well, the day that I started my Zija business, uh, I already knew what to do, okay? Because this is my third successful multi-level venture. I already knew what to do, and my number one priority, this should be important to you, my number one priority was to create my Zija story, my fast start story. Now, the reason for that was very simple. A lot of people think, well, yeah, you want to make money right away. No, I was in this for the long run. I also understood that if I created an excellent story, it would be a story that my team members could share. See, you have to understand, people don't join your business because of the things that you think they will, okay? It's not because of the history and uh, you know the legacy of Ken Brailsford, okay? Man's created, uh, this is now his third multi-level venture, First two have been, you know, 35 and 45 years in business, you know, countless billions of dollars in sales combined between the two. You know, that's not why they join. Uh, they don't join because our compensation plan is the only, well, it's the only compensation plan I've seen in the industry that truly pays out 50% uh, of the commissionable volume. Okay, there's a lot of um, uh, uh, shrinkage in compensation plans. Um, we won't get into the details of compensation plans. That's a, another rabbit hole I don't want to run down right now. But the point is, it's the most lucrative, fair, and real compensation plan I've ever seen. Okay, I've, uh, we don't, it doesn't, you know, people don't join because we've got a 50-50 uh, matching binary non-flushing volume, uh, you know, hybrid binary. They don't join for that, okay? They don't join for our lifestyle bonus or P20 and E40, okay? Let me tell you why people make a decision to join the business. Because they believe that they can achieve something they're looking for. And it comes from the stories. It comes from your story and the stories of others. Just like with the products. People don't buy Zija products because, uh, you know, our super mix has, you know, 92 verifiable ingredients, you know, uh, 46 antioxidants, 36 anti-inflammatories, you know, all the omegas, 3, 6, and 9, okay? They join because of the results people are getting. People make a buying decision based on emotion, then all the other details that people think are important to making that decision, those simply reinforce the decision that they, they came to. So your story is going to be critical to your success in Zija, and if you want to look at it for the long term, the success of your team members. That's why my number one goal, and it does sound like it was kind of, you know, uh, all focused on me. The number one goal that I had in Zija was to create a story that my team members could use. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go to the, uh, the YouTube channel, go to the playlist, uh, pick, I think it's number two, uh, number three on, uh, of the four videos, how to create your story, because I talk specifically about how I set things up so that in my first week, I was able to achieve six new customers in my Zija business. Why was that important? Because I had to document that people would actually buy these products. And within the first two weeks, I had recouped all of the 
uh, uh, cost of starting my business. I started with the largest package that the, that the company had at the time. I think it was like $1,300 and change. And within two weeks, I'd earned enough money to not only pay that back and go, but go into profitability. That was not an accident. It was by design. And in that little 10 minute video, I lay out the game plan I used to do that. So I encourage you to go there and, and look at that. Now, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to bring Christine over to this side. Christine, little heads up, uh, your uh, two minute warning. Where are you, Christine? Oh, there you are. Okay. Let's uh, promote the panelists. Uh, Christine Holland. Did I get you over here, Christine? Oh, there you go. Christine Holland. Uh, I've had a chance to, to get to know Christine now over the last couple of years. Um, Christine, how are you? I'm good. Sorry, I need that, so I don't always come in with a. The... No, you're, 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 you're fine. How are you doing? I'm awesome. Thanks for having me. Uh, love the background. I always, I always feel like you know it's time to you know get on Another the board the shorts and get the uh, the beach right. ready going. Yeah, uh, great to have you. Let me let me kind of for folks that don't don't know Christine, I, I've had a chance to know her now, work with her for for uh, a couple of years. Uh, Christine is a former military, uh, had some high level uh, responsibilities in the military. Uh, her and her husband. Her husband's now a commercial pilot. Um, you've got, uh, as a matter of fact, you go to my YouTube channel, search Christine Holland. Okay. Christine, you were just doing a biz talks with me like a week or two ago, right? Yes. We, I think two Thursdays ago. Yes. Okay. You just she did has, uh, her, uh, she's been with me on the business presentations a couple of times now. Uh, go and listen to her story. Okay. We're not going to take the time for that this, this morning. Go listen to her story. Great presentation. Uh, but I asked Christine to join me, uh, today. Uh, because she has been in uh, at the you know number one, number two, number three uh, position of of our team's leaderboard in consistently being you know Premier Twenty and E Forty. Now, uh, for those of you that are so new, you're going P Twenty E Forty. What's that? Okay, when you're a a, a P Twenty Premier Twenty, within four weeks you've done enough to create your own free product supply. You get $200 of product free from the company. When you're E40, in addition to the free product, you get an extra $250 of commission that's over and above everything else that you earn. That's an extra three grand a year for just being consistent E40. Christine does this every single period. I mean, uh, the, the numbers are astounding and so, uh, Christine, I, I know you've put together a little bit of information. I'm going to kind of hand this off to you, let you take the lead, uh, because this would be a very valuable, uh, uh, you know, addition to new distributor training to help new people understand what you do on a regular basis to ensure that level of, you know, consistency, getting free product from the company and the extra $250. So, no, let's see. Take it away. <laughs> Okay, awesome. Thanks, Fred. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Um, I do have some notes, and you'll notice me looking at them just because I get so excited about this, and I want to stay on track. I'm a, I'm a, I can get very easily go down those rabbit holes. But I'm going to go over four things. I think it's really important um, for you to focus on and to understand to break it down. What how to do P40, um, P20 and E40. So first of all, you need to print the form, which is in your back office, which has the rules. Okay, we're going to talk about you have to know the rules, you have to set goals and work backwards, you have to track your points, and you have to maximize your points. I'm going to talk about how that's what I do every day, every cycle, every period. And it's really, really important. Um, coming from a military background and a very type A personality, to me, this is like a challenge. It's a game and I want to win. That's kind of how I go about it. So when, if you take it in that light, when you play a game, you can't win unless you know the rules. So we need to understand the rules. Well, the first rule that I found in talking to people is not everybody's clear on who counts. So if you look again in the fine, fine print, it tells you, but the people who count from your organization, for those of us who have been involved with ZJ for a while, for the new people, this is everyone you bring in is going to count. But for those of us who've been around a while, it's anyone from period 141. So anyone you've enrolled after May 25th. Because I've had some people thinking that just because somebody's labeled a customer, they count. They don't count. So know the rules. Know who counts. It's all on the form. Zija lays it out very clearly. You also need to know where do the points come from. 
um, we're talking about these points, and even for new people, they're like, I don't know what you're talking about. So where do points come from? Z just created a grid. It's on here. I'm going to go over it a little bit. But basically, where do points come from? Well, first of all, points come from personal enrollments, which is um, bringing people on as members, whether they're customers or distributors. Let me back up and say one thing. Um, the overarching where do points come from? Points come from doing the activities that Fred lays out every Saturday to build your business. If you're doing the activities to build your business and grow it, you are doing the activities that will get you points. But, but some people are just kind of thinking, I'm just going to do the activities and the points are going to come, and that's true. But you'll be more successful if you understand where the points come from so you can maximize them. So when Deidre rolled this out, that was the first thing I do, did was pulled, pulled the paper and started analyzing where do the points come from. So the first place points come from is personal enrollments. And there's three different levels. You can get one point, three points, or five points. Okay, that is based on the volume of your enrollee. So if they enroll with a box of Supermix, that's 75 points, you get one point. If they en enroll with one of our amazing, wonderful packs, that's 150 points, and you get three points. If they enroll with a pack and then you help them out, see maybe some personal care products or take advantage of some other things and it's 250 points, you get five points, right? So that's something you gotta be thinking about when you're enrolling. Um, when we're enrolling, we are doing I want to say what's best for our per new person. So we're not trying to force them into something they're uncomfortable with, but we're just giving them enough information. They can make the best decision for themselves. Um, and sometimes that benefits us as well by them having maybe a bigger and bigger enrollment order. Um, sometimes I see people don't offer those extra things. They just, okay, super mix. Okay, great. And that's not bad. But understanding that, well, if you really love Supermix, well, we have this thing called a little white box and there's other things I can show you the value in that. So just sharing enough information so that they have several options. Then the second place points come from are these people that are now your members, they're continuing orders. Their second order, their third order, and their fourth order. You get one, three, and five points. DJ is rewarding us for providing customer service, for continuing to interact with our members, for helping them continue to move along in the product and reach their health goals. That's what we're doing. That's what our job is. So we're going to get points for that. I'm going to go, this is just an overview and I'll go back a little bit more deeper. Um, then personal um, enrollment rank advancing. So if you help people who are members, distributors in your organization who, who have told you, I want to create some form of income and you help them rank advance, you get points and they get points. And guess what? That's 10 points. That's that's the sweet spot. That's where the big cha-ching is in this, um, in this program. You also get 10 points if you personally rank advance. So as you move up, up through the levels, you're going to get not only your commissions and all the other benefits, but you're going to get 10 points. And then the last places are if you qualify for lifestyle bonus and if you qualify as a P20 or E40, you get points for that. And one of the key things I want you to think back to what I said, I said personally enroll personally enroll orders, personally enroll rank advance. What do I keep saying over and over? Personally enroll. So one of the things that became very clear to me with this program is that it has a lot to do with our individual personal enrollment. Doesn't mean when you become a leader, you leave your team in the dust, but what sometimes we do as leaders is we step back from our own enrollments and we focus just on you know, working with our team. Um, sometimes we get in management mode. Um, and so this really forces you, if you want to be um, playing in this game and winning this game, you need to keep both balls in the air. You need to be managing and supporting all of the people in your, we call it a tribe, in our tribe. And then you also have to be personally enrolling. Um, you have to go what we would call in the industry wide. You have to be, you have to go wide to play. The wider you are, the better um, the more opportunities for points you have. And for an example, because I have, so I hit P20 the very first month because I will tell you that it takes momentum because of this going wide and personal enrollment. So don't get frustrated. Just see yourself building points every period. But what I did was I did P20 the first and then was able to create the momentum so that I've been in E40 ever since. So, um, and it's, it's because you create a momentum by going wide. But for an example, what that, does that look like for somebody who's hitting E40? Since period 141, which is the very first, that May 25th day, I personally enrolled 43 people. So that's about one person a week. Um, so that's what you kind of have to, 
Is that the only way? No, but that just gives you an example of I am hitting E40, I'm not stressing out about it. It's just kind of taken on a natural life of its own. But if I, if I just enroll a few people and work the points, then when those points are not available anymore, then I end up with having to start over. So it's just easier to, again, go back to what Fred talked about in the beginning of this video and, or this Zoom and talk about doing the activities on a continuous basis. I mean, you know, doing the simple duplicatable system over and over and over. Fred said the reason that he's been able to buy 13 rental properties is because that's his superpower, just to be able to do the same thing over and over. And that's really what this program lends itself to do, is to do the same thing over and over. Enroll someone with, a, with their enrollment order, follow up with them continuously to get them to do their second, third, and fourth order. Because by then, people are well along their wellness journey, and they love our products, and they're gonna they're, they're gonna stay a member, they're gonna stay a customer under you for a long time, and that's where your long-term residual income comes from, correct? Um, so that's kind of about the points. Then once we now you know the, where the points come from, so now set goals and break them down backwards. So I'll, I'll use an example, the success trip. So when this first came out, I looked at the success trip, and again, I, I will be the on if anybody anybody on here who knows me knows that I'm super type A. And I love a challenge. So I said, I'm going to win all the cookies. I want, if I'm going to go on a cruise, I want ZJ to pay for it. So I looked at what the rules were. And for 240 points, and then by January 3rd, ZJ would pay for my entire cruise, including airfare. And I get to have dinner with, you know, with, with corporate leadership and all these great things. So, well, what does that look like? 240 points, I'll tell you, I kind of panicked. Like I booked my cabin the first week and, then, and said, I'm doing this. And then I panicked because it seemed so insurmountable, it seemed so big, it seemed like so many points. So what I did was I went back and looked, broke, it, broke it down. How many periods do I have? How many cycles do I have? How, much, how many points do I have to do per period? How many points do I have to do per cycle to be on track to get my 240 points? And then I kept track of that, and so I would know if I was, if I was meeting my goal, if I was ahead or if I was behind. So I have until January 3rd to get 240 points and I've already passed that. So I've already earned all the cookies. So ZJ is gonna send me to Puerto Rico on a cruise and I'm pretty happy about that. But the other point that, that I think is really awesome is those points also got me free product. Those same points also got me a $250 bonus every month. Those same points are going towards, I also am a Premier 20 club member. So ZJ is not making us do a bunch of different things to earn different things. Back to the simple du duplicatable system. We're doing the simple du duplicatable system. I can say that 10 times fast. And we're getting points for doing what we're supposed to be doing. And those points, not only, not only are we earning commissions for those actions, but we're earning points that get us all these other things without having to do anything different. So if you're just doing actions of building your business, all this stuff is going to come. So I highly recommend whether you're new in Zija or you're um, restarting ZJ, look at what's available and work backwards. Do you want to be Premier Club? Do you want to have the special seating at the corporate event in July? Do you want to have your Premier 20 or Elite 40? Work that backwards so that you know where you're at. Now to know where you're at, you have to be able to track your points. And I think this is a place that people really um, are, this is a, is a place where you can really have a lot of benefit, but if you don't do it, again, if you just kind of hope it's all gonna come together, um, it, it, it doesn't work as well, let's put it that way. So I just use an Excel spreadsheet. And when I enroll a new member, their name goes in there, and I say what period I enroll them, and I have four block, three places next to it where I can check off, did I get their second order? Did I get their third order? Did I get their fourth order? Again, you need to know the rules because the orders can't all be in one period, and I'm not going to go into that much detail here, but you need to track where your points are available. I hope that makes sense to everybody. You need to know who have I enrolled since May 25th? How many orders have they had? Have they had an order this period? And, and our back office, I, I know they're working towards the ability for us to just see that with a click, but that's coming, but for now, it's up to us. It's our business. If we want to earn the points, earn the cruise, earn the bonus, it's up to us to do it. So coming up with the tracking, um, one of our amazing, we have so many amazing corporate team members. Um, I'm gonna give a shout out to Dan in Leadership Care. He's come up with an amazing tracking, which I also use, I kind of use both. 
his is much more detailed. If anybody wants a copy, I have a blank copy, you can um, reach out or maybe what I'll do is I'll put a Google link. I mean, I'll put a link to it for my Google Drive. I'll get it to Fred so that if anybody, he can blast it or put it somewhere. But, but it's really important to track points. It's really important to track it in a way that makes sense to you, okay? Because um, if I give you this tracking in it, you have to take, get a college course to figure out how to track it. That's not what we want. We just want you to know where are your points available? Who, who have I enrolled? Have they had orders? And that should tell you where to go work. So you look at, okay, I enrolled Susie Smith last month and they got their enrollment order. Let me check back in with them this month because now we're in a new period. Let's see how things are going if you haven't talked to them in a while. Let's, let's invite them for coffee. Let's give them a phone call. Let's Facebook or text, Facebook message or text with them. Find out what their needs are and possibly get that next order, get that next set of points. So you wanna constantly be looking at where you have points available because all of us have points available in different places based on, on our enrollments, okay? You also want to um, maximize your points. So I started to talk about that when, we, when I first started. So enrollments, when you're enrolling somebody, um, again, I wanna stress that we are not um, a company that pushes. We wanna meet the needs of each individual. We want a reputation of helping people. That is who we are as Asian Nation. But people don't know unless you share with them. They have no idea what we have to offer. So make sure you give them, if you give them the tiny picture, then that's all they have to choose from. If you give them the whole picture, then they can choose the piece of the picture that they want. So find out what their need is, find out their pain point, offer them solutions, but don't necessarily offer them one product solution. Offer them kit solutions, offer them multiple solutions so that they can pick and choose. We have so many great options with our, you know, our new solution bundles. Every month we have a solution bundle that's, that's a special for only $150. Um, we have the Explorer bundle, so if they enroll with a 150 PV, then they can get, they can check out some other products that are really super ultra discounted price. Um, that way they can try more things, but not have so much pain from their wallet. Um, and I, I, I said this on our Thursday night, we have an amazing military and emergency responders discount. We are the only company on the planet that I know that has such an amazing, and I'm a military person, so I know I try to take advantage of those as much as possible. Ours is blanket. And so you are give, providing service, you're providing value to your customers. They will I will shop more and spend more at a place where I'm getting a discount, especially that kind of a discount that is um, respecting and honoring my service. I really appreciate that. So don't be afraid. I bet you everybody who's watching this has people that are already in your organization that are members or customers that actually qualify for that discount and they just don't know about it and you haven't asked them. And it, the one thing that people sometimes get confused is military discounts normally are for active or retired. That is not what Zeej is doing. Anyone who has ever served, do you know how, what a high percentage of the population that is? Anybody who has ever served, they can get a DD-214, an old ID card. Zeej is very generous with it. And they even give us the discounts on the discount. So if somebody enrolls with our active life and fitness bundle this month, any person gets it for $150. It's a $50 discount. Awesome. If you're a veteran, you get it for $128. Holy cow, can you enroll people with that? Absolutely. You could show them the value from $128. That kid's probably worth about $240, to like half price. And if they're not a military discount, they're still getting it for $150. So for your enrollments, maximize your points by giving people the whole picture, lots of product options, and then let them choose what's comfortable for them. Don't have the preconceived notion of what they can afford, what they want, what they need, because we honestly don't know unless we share. Um, the next point is members. Where are your points available? And I'm, I'm reiterating that. Once you get somebody into, the, into your organization, you need to know where they're at. When was their last order? What are their needs? Are you still in contact with them? And you want to get them to do that second, third, and fourth order. One, each person is worth, if you think about it, if you get them in with the highest enrollment, let's just play that game, that's five points. Then their second order is another point, that's six points. Their next orders three points, so that's nine points in their last. So every person you enroll in this program is worth is up to 14 points for you. That's a lot of points. Um, but you have to be keeping track because people will fall through the cracks if you're not keeping track, you won't know. Um, then the next piece, and this is part of helping the other people on our team, who has the ability to rank advance? 
Are you looking at your back office? Are you looking at with all this rolling volume, there's lots of opportunities and you have, you'll be surprised at how many people, when you call them up and say, Hey, Susie, you know, you're like 150 points from hitting builder 1000. They, a lot of people don't, they're new, they don't know, or that's not their focus. They're just trying to get their hundred dollar check this week, maybe with fast start commissions. I, I, you just don't ever know where somebody's at. But as a leader, and if you want to maximize this program, you want to be looking in your back office. You want to be figuring out who can rank events because you know what? You're going to get them, them 10 points and get them excited because they're already halfway to premier 20 with that. Plus, you're going to get yourself 10 points. And usually when you help someone rank events because of the other activities that we do, they pretty much go premier 20. So you can say to someone, how awesome is that to be able to call up somebody that you're working with and say, hey, let's do this. Let's get you a builder 500, builder 1000. And, and you're also going to be like within striking distance, if not a premier 20. So you're going to get $200 in free product next month. Awesome. Um, and then the last thing is shoot for ranking, advancing yourself, getting your lifestyle bonus, getting your P20 and P40, because you get points for all that. And that's as you move up in the leadership um, you know, arena in our company. Um, I will say that the rank advancing yourself, for you new people, this program actually, in my opinion, and Fred, correct me if you think I'm wrong, is really more geared to our newer people. It's easier to get points as a brand. So if you're a brand new person looking at me saying, oh, you've been doing this since January 2016 and you're platinum and so I can't do this. It's easier if you get the momentum and start personally enrolling because Builder 500, Builder 1000, Bronze, um, silver, those are ranks that are super attainable, super fast if you're following the simple duplicatable system and doing the activities. And there are so many, that is such a point rich area to, to work in. So I challenge those of you who are new um, or you know in those rank areas to re-engage and take advantage of the program because I really feel like this program is geared to make it easier to put money in the pockets and make it easier for the people that are, are younger members our younger ranks to do all these cool things um christine uh, let me just add in there the very first time that i took this program when it was first introduced back in may when i started to analyze it that's what got me so excited because it was the company's commitment to putting the money into the compensation plan where it's the most important and it's not the most important for people that are you know higher level ranks like yourself, platinum or emerald or myself, it's for the brand new person. And, and again, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's part of this, you know, uh, you know, uh, concept of en enlightened self-interest. All right. If there's more money in the compensation plan for the brand new person, guess who else is going to benefit every single person above them. Okay. So, you know, don't, don't for one second think that me and Christine, we're just, you know, the, the, the people that just love everybody and want you guys to have all the new people get all the money. Hey, it helps us too. Okay. Cause it does what we're supposed to be doing. We create an expanding consumer base by developing distributors who are sharing the products. And uh, Christine, I want to, uh, I hate to cut you off here, but you, you went, to, I was following, I had an, an opportunity folks that, uh, uh, and, and I'm going to show this. I hope you don't mind Christine. No, uh, no. This is the picture she sent me of the whiteboard that she put together for her notes. And, and, uh, and I'm not going to show you what my notes and my whiteboard look like because I look like a, like, like a toddler compared to a college professor. So you got some great information. I want to highlight a couple of things, and then we certainly want to open up for question and answer. Folks, if you've got a question for Christine, uh, do this right now. Uh, you type it into the chat box. So those of you on mobile devices, tap your screen. It'll bring up the, the uh, you know, the little icons and you can put in a, a, a you know, a question there. Uh, here's some of the things that, because I was taking notes, okay? I always take notes. And um, one of the things that, I, that, that hit me, or a couple of things that hit me, Christine, you made the comment, uh, what I wrote down was stay engaged in personal enrollment, okay? It's, it's what we've called in the industry stage one activities. Share the product, share the opportunity. Okay, now you said something that caught my attention. You, you've enrolled like, you know, 43 people or something like that, which sounds like a lot of people. And then you went and brought it back one person a week. But because of the compounding effect of the way the points are accumulated that you went through, 
uh, that one person a week, essentially one person a week, has been able to build the momentum in your organization where you are consistently, you know, you, you hit P20 the first, the first period, okay? So you got your free uh, $200 worth of product. But after that, it's been the Elite 40, where you're getting $200 worth of your Zija products free and the $250 a period. I can get more because I get the military discount, but you know. <laughs> uh, uh, and, and so if you think about it, folks, this isn't somebody, Christine is not somebody who's out there working 20 hours a day, you know, running around, signing up everybody in the world. One person a week has created the momentum necessary to sustain her position at the high ranks. Can I add something to that? Yes, please. Um, that at some point, and because of our CBD product, I will shout out to that, that some of my enrollments are people I don't even know because they're referrals from people who are not interested in the business. They just stick a patch on someone. I get a text message or a phone call saying, so-and-so just stuck this patch on me. I want to buy them. So I have, I've had that, I've, I'm seeing that happen now on a semi-regular basis. It's getting more and more regular. So the more people you get out there and, and you know, and that gives you a lot of options, but, but so some of the enrollments I have, I'm not even having to work very hard at, you know, I'm being honest. folks, if you're out there doing the deal, sharing the product, sharing the opportunity, guess what? Lots of people love our products and they're not interested in our business for whatever reason. And I know, and some of us, we have a hard time understanding why wouldn't you want to? I, I have a, 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 it was a, a friend of mine, actually a friend of a friend, uh, loved the products, used them every single month consistent, uh, would refer several times a year, you know, call me up, say, hey, this guy wants to get on the product, can you help him out? And I offered. You know, you can, I'll sign you up and you can make the money. He goes, no, no, I don't want to do that. You go ahead and, you know, do the deal, right? And so, you know, Christmas time, I'd send him a free case of whatever was the product he was interested in using. Uh, he gave me so many people, you know, the, the consumer base that came from that person, you know, would make the average person, you know, a bronze distributor, right? Mm -hmm. And he didn't want to do the business. And that's okay. All right. That's, that's okay. Something else that you said that really kind of uh, uh, stuck in my head. Uh, stay engaged with your new people, which is what we're supposed to do, folks. This, and, and let me just tell you, you can make a lot of money sponsoring a lot of people, okay? But only for a while. The people that make the true, you know, significant levels of residual income are not the ones that sponsor a lot, but rather the ones that create success in a lot of other people. Okay, Christine, one of the things that you've done, and you're doing this by, and I appreciate your analytical mind because that does not work for me. You say Excel spreadsheet, you know, you might as well be green and starting to grow in 10 as far as I'm concerned. However, what I can do with pencil and paper is write down a person's name and keep notes. And one of the things you said, and this is what we're supposed to do, when you get somebody that's in, First thing we want to do is we want to help them attain their goals. You know, get a couple of customers, get a couple of distributors. Let's identify what their goals are. Let's have a game plan for them. But what you've done is you have set that to, you know, to the, the, the music of the ebb and flow of points. So you, it helps keep you on track because, you know, even if, if you enroll a customer, they're worth a lot of points if they just order once a month, right? Correct. Something else, and I love, you know, and, and I kind of lost track of that. You, you're, you're qualified for the cruise, but every component of it, you know, the flight, the everything. And the, what you did, you said, set your goals and then break them down and work backwards, which is, again, one of the characteristic things that, that I suggest everybody do. Start with the end in mind. You didn't start with an idea of, you know, geez, it'd be nice if I could get on the cruise. Correct. You started with, I'm going to get the cruise and every single thing that the company's offering for the higher level points. And you've already got it. And we still got, you know, several weeks to go, right? Correct. And yeah, I, it's all on my whiteboard over there with all my things and how many points I have to, for each thing I need to make it happen per month. So I could see if I'm ahead or behind. And I would say that a mistake I made early, and this is a mistake I think people are making because they're afraid of not hitting E40, is that 
if they do get to E40, they like slow down to save the points for next month. And that is a bad thing to do because what happens is it, this is a, it's all about momentum. And so if you do that and you try to slow down and save points, cause like I hit E40 this month and I'm afraid I won't be able to get enough points next month. So I know this person wants to order, but I'm going to kind of slow roll them and tell them I'm busy and I can't call them or whatever. What you'll find is you'll, you'll have to start over. It's like starting a car or skiing or anything. You know, you, you get yourself stuck because you know what happens when you do that? Maybe the person's washing machine breaks and now when you call them for the order, yeah, I'm sorry, I can't afford it. Or, well, now I'm going on vacation or something happens and then you lose the order and you lose the momentum with the customer. So I would say one thing, and I know it's hard and it's a little scary at first because when you break it down by month, you kind of go, I hit this month's goal, so I'm going to... I'm going to wait. Don't do that. And I've made that, I'll be honest, I made that mistake in the beginning. I was trying to, and now if I, you know, some months I just get the 40 and some months I'll have 57 or more. And if you look at Joel McNinch's page, it's got people going crazy. They don't stop. They just keep running through the tape because if you do that, all those other momentum things come into play and it'll happen. It'll keep happening. It's, it's one of those fundamental things that, you know, on your success journey path, you'll have to learn this. There, there's two uh, uh, philosophies. One is a, a, a mindset of scarcity. There's only so much to go around. Another one is a mindset of abundance. There's more than enough to go around. And what's really interesting is, you know, whichever one of those you believe is true, if you believe that, that, you know, that you can have as many points as possible and not have to worry about next period because there'll be even more there, that's true. If you believe you're not going to have enough points, that's true. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? It is. Very interesting. Uh, well, Christine, it, it's always a pleasure to get together with you. Um, and, and, you know, I had such a great time, you know, this is one of the benefits of being a, you know, working hard to be part of the leadership. Uh, Christine was able to be at the, um, uh, the ZJ1 leadership conference, uh, that we had in Scottsdale a couple of oh, months ago. With points. I'm sorry. hundred percent paid for by points. hundred percent. Of course, you know, she ain't going to be picking up the dime, right? They, you know, she's going to make it happen. That's ZJK. Uh, but one of the one of the great benefits of doing that is the ability to spend time with people like that. And I had uh, had the best time the last evening we were there. There was several members of your organization, and we just kind of commandeered a section outside of the little, uh, you know, what was it? Uh, you know, I, restaurant. What was the name of that place? Uh, it was no, the it was an animal name. I was, I was going to say restaurant. donkey food, but I don't, I don't think, think that's right. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And, uh, and so we commandeered that and we, we shut that place down. That was a lot of fun. Yep. Uh, yeah. What we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, Christine, uh, always a privilege to have you joining us and sharing your information. Congratulations on, on what's happening, not just for yourself, but for your organization. Your organization's on fire. And uh, looking forward to having you join us again on a future uh, new distributor training. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Go get it. <laughs> have a great night. Great day. I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> okay, we'll let Christine go back. And, and folks, we're going to put a wrap on it for today. Uh, I hope that this was beneficial to you. We talked about, you know, uh, the new distributor, you know, three things that you want to do when you get started, you know, but commit to the, uh, uh, you know, to the long term, you know, uh, get plugged in, uh, learn how to create your story. And then for those of you, whether you're brand new or just are, you know, have been around for a while, Christine laid out the four objectives or the four things that she looks at for the P20 and E40. You know, know the rules, set the goals, uh, track where you have points available so that you're not spinning your wheels, and then maximize the points. You know, one of the things that, that, that I think every new distributor needs to get, uh, get used to when you're enrolling a new person and maybe they want Supermix or whatever, ask a simple question. Would it be okay with you if I gave you some suggestions? Because guess what? You're the expert. You know all about the stuff. They're the customer. And they're more than likely going to be open to hearing what you have to offer. And if you're truly, like Christine says, don't force them to buy stuff they don't need. But be the person who wants to help them. 
Is it a benefit to your new customer to help them get super mix and the premium tea? Well, of course it is. That's a way better if they can do it. And so don't be afraid to ask if, you, if it's okay with them, if you offer them some suggestions. Uh, with that, I think we're gonna wrap things up. This will be posted on the YouTube channel uh, here a little bit later on today. Uh, for those of you that haven't, uh, you know, that want to get plugged in some of the stuff that I'm doing, uh, go to my personal website, fredhomes.com, click on contact, you'll see a place there where you can enroll in the, in the weekly newsletter. So you can do that, uh, join the, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and more importantly, because I'm not saying my stuff is all that, because it isn't, okay, it's just my stuff, all right? I encourage you, get involved with your upline diamond leadership. Okay, every single one of you has an active, engaged uh, diamond upline. Uh, I want you to be involved with them. Okay, get the information. Uh, they'll direct you to places that they like. Uh, if they don't personally, uh, you know, provide uh, those kinds of things, uh, get plugged in. Be part of what's happening with ZG International. Uh, this upcoming week, we've got uh, uh, health talks with Pat on Wednesday evening. Uh, you can access that through her uh, uh, website clubmoringa.com www.clubmoringa.com uh, we'll have biz talks on uh, thursday uh this week this uh this week uh and you can get that at uh, you know www.fredhomes.com forward slash webinar and then we'll be right back at it again on saturday morning with new distributor training uh last shout out to christine always fun having you and uh yeah, you don't make me look like a very good trainer. You're so organized and professional, and that's okay. That's why I wanted you here today. All right, folks, have a great rest of your uh, your week. Look, or you have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week. Take care now. Bye bye.